Terrace coming to you from Chicago. Today we continue our series on foods and their health benefits. Our focus will be on cabbage. Cabbage has the highest amount of antioxidants found in cruciferous vegetables. They are also very rich in vitamin K and an excellent source of fiber. Let's come back and talk about what we'll be using cabbage to make today. We will be making sauteed cabbage with melon seeds, commonly known as egusi. For this episode, we will need cabbage, tomatoes, leeks, garlic, ginger, habanero hot pepper, that's optional, green and red pepper, onion, celery, egusi, melon seeds, oil, beef and salt and pepper to taste. Slice your tomatoes, leeks, green and red pepper, celery and onion and keep to the side. Then you slice your cabbage, steam with a pinch of salt. While that's going on, you steam your meat. Once the cabbage is ready, we'll put the cabbage, to, we'll drain and keep to the side and then we'll start making our saute. Let's get cooking. I have sliced my cabbage and put in the pot. I'll add a pinch of salt and let it cook for about two to five minutes. While that's going on, put your meat in the pot, puree some ginger, garlic, habanero pepper, add to your meat. You do not have to add water to your meat because the meat oozes out its own water. Add your pureed spices and cook that for about 20 to 25 minutes. Add a pinch of salt and one bouillon cube. Stir. We'll come back and check in about 15 minutes. This is how our cabbage looks like after exactly five minutes. We are ready to go. Remember you do not have to add water when you are steaming your cabbage because cabbage oozes out its own water. It's time to drain our cabbage and we'll get going with our saute. Before we start making our saute, let's quickly check on our meat. This is what it looks like after about 20 minutes. I think our meat is ready to go, so I'm going to turn off the heat. Now we'll start making our saute. Warm up your oil and add your sliced celery, leeks, and onion. Stir that and let it simmer here for about a couple of minutes and then we'll come back and check on how it's doing. It's been about two minutes and it's time to add our crushed tomatoes. We'll stir and let that simmer for about five to ten minutes. Then we'll come back and check. This is where we are at this point. It's time to add our egusi. I'll give you a little trick. Egusi tends to ooze out a little bit more water than we need in this dish. So what I do is I add a handful of ground peanut to my egusi. The peanut helps to absorb the water. We'll now add our meat broth. We still had some leftover spices that we added to our meat. I'll add the rest of that. One bouillon cube. Stir. And leave it for about two minutes. That way we'll see how much water we need to add in the pot. Once I add the water after the two minutes, we'll let the egusi cook for about 40 to 45 minutes. We'll come back and check in a couple of minutes. This is where we are at this point. I have added my steamed beef. Our egusi is cooked. It cooked in about 40 minutes. The amount of time your egusi takes to cook depends on how much egusi you're putting in your dish. Remember our green and red pepper? Now it's time to add them in the pot. We'll 
we'll stir and bring in our steamed cabbage. We'll stir. I love my cabbage a little crunchy so we're not going to overly cook our cabbage we're just going to leave it here for just two minutes so the rest of the spices can all blend together and then we'll come back and check this is how our dish looks like at this point we are all done let's come back and serve voila we are all done Let's take a closer look at our dish. Look at that deliciousness. Look at all the colors. Doesn't that look mouth-watering? Today we focused on cabbage. Remember cabbage is very rich in antioxidants, vitamin K, and also an excellent source of fiber. Be gentle with your egg seed or melon seeds because they are loaded with calories. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at Cooking with Therese, Instagram at Cooking with Therese, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cooking with Therese, and also continue to support us with our wholesome health promotion non for profit organization. Remember, eating healthy does not have to be boring. Bye bye and see you next time. Yeah, thank you very much. There is Tande live from Chicago in the U.S. That's a fantastic one there. Great recipe. You know, salted agosi ground, uh, melon seeds with uh, cabbage is very important. We got it, so I'll definitely try it maybe someday, be it today or, you know, tomorrow. I love cooking, though I don't know how to cook very well. But anyway, through this, you know, programs, I do taste one or two recipes. And trust me, I am successful. When I taste it, I'm like, mm, oh, wow. I just did these is amazing and so we'll definitely be doing it together anyway like you saw it in a G, uh, just in a while in the spotlight we have the theme of the day already available today is the world you know food day and we decided to focus on that it's not only the world food day but it's also the world spine day and we can talk we'll be talking about the world spine day as when well, as soon as we finish with the world food day tips especially the statistics so that it can stir you up to protect the environment to invest in agriculture and of course to make sure that you're the keeper of your fellow environment and your fellow human